guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you my review of Boruto episode 17, Run Serata Run, or just Run Serata. This episode had so many little Easter eggs in it that I nearly died laughing while watching it. Not not a ton of fans know that Sasuke's favorite food is tomatoes. So when Sakura is pushing Dorada to have more tomatoes, she's pushing her to have her father's favorite food, which I like. I liked that. Um, Dorada mentioned getting some food to start with an A. I forgot. It's some Japanese food. I forgot what it was. But that is also, according to the data, a Sakura's favorite. So... But just fun little tidbits about her parents' favorite food there. But to bring up the plot of this episode, it's essentially Sakura took a, t- a day off from was able to get herself a day off from work, and we're gonna go away on a little bit on a little trip. It, it was kind of confusing because at some point I felt like it was implying she was going away for the night, and at some point I got the impression she was going away for a few hours. So, I'm not sure, but Sakura um, goes away, you know, she has to, I'll have to get to where she goes away too later on. But she goes away, and she notices it before she leaves this uh, packet. So apparently a girl at the hospital, she works at the hospital, that's her stuffed teddy bear or whatever. And they need, uh, and Sakura offered to sew it. For the girl, so she and you have to understand that most of Sakura's patients, because after the war, she started a clinic where people, children that suffered severe mental trauma and lost their parents, to avoid children growing up either like Naruto, all by themselves with no parental figures or anything, or children growing up like Sasuke where they go insane. <coughs> <coughs> When you go insane, you get nobody with treating their mental illness. Illness. Now, Sakura works with a lot of them. This girl very well may not have had any parents. In that term, she may be an orphan. Maybe we get no reference to her parents. But so Sakura is essentially like, I'll bring this to her. So I was like, no. You know. Dorado's like, no, let me go on. Let me do it. You go on your trip. You have fun. You're a busy adult. I'm the king with nothing else to do, essentially. So, Dorado takes the toy. And it's essentially a, a whole thing of hijinks. And honestly, you wouldn't expect it to be entertaining. But because it's something different, not... not I, I, I told you that with Boruto, it wouldn't be entertaining. I mean, we got enough of Boruto so far. But getting with Serana, essentially, she's very uptight. She does not want to be seen. And Boruto and Chikara, Inojin, and Dengi are just following Serana everywhere un- unintentionally. And it's really funny. But she's, like, jumping on top of trains. She's going into, like... Underground food teller, food store, talking to like fortune teller, <laughs> or like people have a not fortune teller, but people that have advanced knowledge of item. And it, it's a really fun episode. I, I have, normally I wouldn't think reviews are actually really long, but I don't have anything to stay on it. I mean, there was this one bit. Where we did, I mean, it's just so Sasuke. Then we get a bit with Sakura and Eno when they're talking. And Sakura said their first date was only two. See, it was so short. <laughs> she knows how long it is. Two minutes. And like, I think she said a minute, like two minutes and, so, and like 30 seconds or something. And I'm just like, yeah, that sounds about right for Sasuke. <laughs> that sounds about right. But yeah, so we see actually the area they went on, I guess, if you want to call it a day. I don't really know what you would call that, considering it's awkward. It's only like two minutes long and it's not getting dipped. 
<laughs> you can be Sasuke, you can't stay in one area. <laughs> but, uh, no, but, we do get, we do, I do like the comparison between Serata and Boruto, it's starting to make a lot more sense. Or a lot less, it's getting iffy, and now we get it, uh, it's saying notified that Sakura is a lot like Naruto. And she, and she works way more than she needs to. I mean, she wants to be uh, un, more understandable. Honestly, I kind of sympathize with her more than I do with Naruto, but she's working with, or, with children with mental trauma. So they're probably more of a, hey, I'm actually helping people here. But it's like Naruto who's just like, okay, I gotta do the taxes. <laughs> like, Naruto doing taxes. I mean, they were like, who cares? Like, that can wait an hour. But child with mental trauma can't. So I sympathize more with her, but that's beside the point. But they're both terrible. They're both in the world. There's a couple, there is a theme, though, which I want to talk about. I really, one of the things when you're kind of just like, ooh, that, that thing is... And when Sakura asks, is there, and I, do, do you want me to pick you up anything while I'm gone? And Serato's like, a father would be nice. And even Sakura was just like, they're out of that, not cool. She, and she doesn't say anything directly about Sasuke. It's weird, because she doesn't mention Sasuke at all in front of Serata. I, I think the reason, it, manga spoilers by the way, but uh... I would assume the reason she's adamant against mentioning him it be good. Maybe she feels like if she starts talking to Serata about Sasuke, she would have to tell her tell her where Sasuke is, and that would be a whole thing. Like she would need to go to Naruto. That would be a whole thing. She would probably need to go to Naruto and have like and and, and argue with him for like hours about it. I mean, I'm sure Naruto would be all for it, but there are probably other regulations. Uh, but in place by the five Kage that from that stop anchor just going like, yeah, tell Serato whatever you want. I mean, it's a classified mission by all five Kage. So I'm just going to assume that, they're, that she probably doesn't want to deal with it. It's probably not worth the hassle, considering Saki will be back one day. But again, they're definitely building up to Gaiden. Uh, it's essentially an episode about story, but, 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 but I guess you could do it, again, considering it's like, you know, I think they're supposed to be, like, these, these are little kids and they're supposed to be learning lessons. I guess the lesson Serata kind of supposed to learn is not to be so uh, proper all the time and, to, and, and in an emergency to do whatever the hell you have to do to win. Because, because she almost gets the teddy, she leaves the teddy bear on the train. And she nearly gets the teddy bear back. But then she gives up the chance to get it back so Boruto doesn't see her on the, on top, on the roof of the train. So, yeah. Those of my brief ramble thoughts on the episode. Not the greatest episode. Not the worst. I can't... I mean, this is the thing. This episode is really fun. Alright? It's a really fun episode to watch. It made me laugh. It made me... It had a lot... I think also what helped this episode had a lot of the pre of Eno and Sakura in it. So you know, it was also very fun I and mean, it had a lot of the old characters in it. So even even if it wasn't very good, you were just like, oh, I have many people. Like like we in the old audience can be like, oh, yeah, oh, this is a callback to this, and this is a callback to that. Like and whatever the old characters are on screen, there's a callback to old stuff. And that's just Naruto, and Naruto just sitting there being an asshole. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. Subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out.